Hello everybody, welcome back to my show how to create an Android dictionary. Okay, so now we are standing in step 4. Then we are going to working with list view. So we are going to create a list of what? Okay, right like the application. Okay, so in the last section we are already to add a fragment that we are handle any achievement from fragment to fragment from fragment to activity from activity to fragment so now let's working with list view together so let's jump in our android studio so now i'm going to add my list view into my dictionary fragment so now let's go in class dictionary fragment and i'm going to find my dictionary fragment layout okay so now for, okay so i make my code clean so i remove this so I'm going to replace it with this view. Okay, so this is I set width, set much parent and high much parent too. Okay, so now I let's give an ID for my list view. So I call List. Okay. Okay. So now let's go back to our dictionary fragment. So when on create review execute, I'm going to find my list view. So I'm going to create an object of list view. I call it list. Okay. So I'm going to find view by ID. dot id dictionary list okay so i'm got uh, dictionary list so now i need an adapter to working with list view so i'm call array adapter okay so i set the type with string so i call it adapter okay equal new release okay so in this constructor is go is require um, any agreement so now I'm going to put in tag in here by using get contact okay and next I'm going to get a resource layout so I'm going to call android dot resource so I'm use this to get the full layout for Android okay so dot layout dot sample this item one okay so this so now I just said oh I forget something I need a um, source so now I'm going to get the source so I create a method I call it get list of work okay so now I'm going to get my word so I put it in this array list of string or oh, actually you can use uh, array so now I'm going to use array instead so I call it source equal new string and I'm going to define my value here so then let's go to my node and just copy down my value and pass it here okay so now if I've got a list of words so I let change this to string of array so now I'm return my source okay so now let's call get source here. Get list of what? Okay, so now let's set the list dot set adapter. So I'm going to set my adapter. Okay, that's it. So now let's run together. But before run, I think we should remove this. Oh, 
I'll just comment it. Uh, because we already remove any control in this part, okay, in this block. So it's going to got an error because of this resource.id my btn. So now let's comment it and run our application. Okay, it's going to be look red all. Okay, just stay waiting. Mm -hmm. So, for more detail about this review, uh, you can go into Android Developer Site and to more detail, you can look at this. Okay, so generally this review is need an adapter to store store your resource, okay? store your data to get any data to view on your UI control. Okay, so with this missing stuff and with uh, any sample of code. Okay, so now let's get there. Okay, it's still running. Okay, so now I let show you some of my app. Okay, in the next video, we are going to create this list view. Okay, with custom button. Okay, so now it's come. Okay, it's come. That's it. And so now next we are going to get this word to send my to send this word to detail fragment okay so now let's get back to our android studio and in this when user click on on list view item so i'm going to create an event in my list view i call it dot set on item click listener so i'm going to create a new Okay, so just move something that you put here in here. Okay, so now let's go to make a condition if listener not equal now. Okay, we are going to send this value to detail adapter. So I need a value. The value that we get from is from here, right? So now I'm just called to get list of word so I'm going to get it at index alright so this is going to position ok so let's go here so now when user when user click on this item letter A so it's got the position is A position 0 okay so for this word is going to position is position 1 okay so it's like index so I just got an index and to get my word from this list okay this is my source so now let's see so let's go to our detail fragment so what I get from value, so I just get value and make them toss. Okay. So now, yes, it's on in one, so I'm going to click on the title. Okay, it's coming with the title. So I'm going to click on the bar. Okay, it's coming with the bar. So that's it for my show today. So thank you for watching. See you on next video that are we, that we are going to working with custom list view items. Thank you for watching. See you on next video. Bye bye.